So I started off by ripping down some scraps of uh, Merbau decking board that I had. Uh, so I ripped them down to 100 mil wide. Then on my crosscut sled, I installed a stop block at 160 millimeters and cut all the boards to 160 millimeters long. Now I cut four of these pieces in exactly the same size. Two are going to be the base and push block, and two are going to be made into the handle. Using my uh, homemade uh, mortise and tenon jig that I first made for the outdoor table project, I just trimmed off the uh, corrugations on the bottom of these boards because um, I just wanted them flat on both sides. A little modification I made to the tenon jig was that clamp you see there, just uh, to help hold smaller pieces of timber. And then using a 25mm force in a bit, I drilled a couple of holes in two of the blocks which were going to be turned into the handles. Uh, to prevent tear out when I'm drilling through boards with a forcing bit, I usually only drill halfway through and then extend the holes, the centre hole with a small drill bit and then just turn the board over and finish it from the other side, it gives a nice clean cut. Next I just drew a line between the two holes and from both holes down to one edge of the board and uh, use the a uh, band saw to cut that out to get the basic uh, handle shape. Now then I just rounded over the inside edges with a uh, half inch round over bit in the router just to make them uh, more comfortable in the hand. And uh, the outside edges of the handles I just used my trim router with a, I think it's a 5mm round over bit. With the basic handle shape now done, um, all I had to do was trim them to height. I trimmed them once and they felt too high so then I trimmed them again. The angle of the blade is uh, set at 7.5 degrees, just, they just felt comfortable. wanted a little bit of a um, slant on those handles. Then to attach the handles to the push box, I just drilled a few uh, pilot holes. Then extended those pilot holes through into the handles. And then I uh, drilled a clearance hole in the push box. And countersunk those holes just enough to take the screw head so that that would fit flush underneath the uh, pad, push block pad. Uh, I rounded over the push blocks with again with my trim router and uh, a 5mm round over bit just to take that sharp edge off. And then apply a bit of glue and screws. Last thing to do was to uh, put the pad on and what I did, I just used some mouse pads, computer mouse pads, pulled off the blue felt. I uh, didn't really want that on there because that would come loose anyway. Uh, used some spray adhesive on both surfaces, weighted it down and basically left that overnight to glue up. Next day came back and um, trimmed off the rubber pad. And there you have two homemade push blocks.